All right, I'm gonna help all my little bros out and make a little tutorial for y'all. First things first, you're gonna spawn around this area. What I'd recommend you doing first is going down here, right? Go down these stairs, and you see this yellow NPC right here? You wanna talk to him, because when you first spawn in, you're not gonna have a curse technique, you're not, right? I have Straw Doll, which is a very good curse technique, and this is the NPC that unlocks it. You need 800 Ryo. There's usually a code that you can use to just like skip that step, but if you aren't able to use one, you can come up here and do the mission board, which is very good for people starting out because queues are currently dominated by people that are high rank, so you're not going to really win. So this is like where you want to be at first till you unlock your curse technique and rank up. The next thing you'd want to do is choose what faction you want to be in. There's two main factions currently which is Curse Faction and the Jujutsu Sorcerer Faction. And I'm gonna show you guys where it is right now. So you usually spawn right there. And what you wanna do is run over this bridge to the other side. I'm gonna speed up this real quick. All right, so this is the Curse Recruiter NPC. This is the dial. Oh wait, I can't show you the dial up because I'm already a curse. And this is the Jujutsu Sorcerer NPC. By the way, when you join a faction, you can't change it. So make your decision wisely. Another thing that you can spawn with are, are curse technique type, cursed energy type. I have normal, which is just add the normal thing you get. I have trait murderous, which gives extra XP. And where to find what each trait and what each cursed energy type does, there is a Trello that I will link below. Now the next thing you guys want to be aware about, the next thing you guys want to be aware about is the trainer to train up your stats, right? You see how my CT level, curse technique level is 16. Each stat, right, brings up it scales one like the type of skill. If you have a, a skill that scales with strength, it's gonna get stronger. If you have a skill that it scales with cursed uh, technique it's gonna get stronger same and agility i think just increases your stamina i'm not too sure about that but down here from spawn where you first joined the game there's gonna be a little hospital here and there's two things you guys can do in this hospital a good thing about this game is that you do not need to spend robux to re-roll your curse technique there's two there's two ways to do it with robux and through in-game stuff so one of the ways is this is the muscle guy NPC which trains your stats. Let me show you real quick. Okay. So once some training, squats equals agility, push-ups equals strength, meditation equals ability. So that's the training NPC. And the other NPC is right here, the doctor NPC. If you talk to him, you can pay 5,000 Rio to change your curse technique. So yeah, that's like how you can change your curse technique. And one last thing to be aware about is fighting styles. The game does have fighting styles in which it pretty much does is that it gives you a whole extra skill tree, right? It would be a skill tree going down this way or this way. And you can buy moves for that fighting style. Some are good, some are bad, up to you. One thing that I need to mention that is important is that there are rank caps, power caps, depending on what your grade is. When you first join as a civilian, you can only get up to grade three. And to, to, not to grade three, to power three. And to get up from there, you would need to talk to an NPC to join a faction. Then you can keep grading them. And then each each power has a certain rank cap. And then when you can't rank up anymore, you wanna go down here to the grade up NPC, right there, this guy right here. And you wanna pretty much just talk to him and grade up. I just graded up to semi grade one, so. Power 25 is what you need for something great one. There's the ramen NPC dude, which is very good if you don't have hunger because you need hunger and regen. So make sure if you're not regen, checking, check your yellow bar because you need that to regen. So that was pretty much all of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Yay, goodbye.